What's up guys, it's Darno here and today we're playing Furryhorn cosplay Vega Mid with Dark Harvest against Silas. Let's go with Dran Screen. And Q first. We've got Fidum top lane. That seems weird. Let's see the recall. I like this skin line. <laughs> And Vagar is really fun to play with. To ignite to increase the killing potential and to reduce the healing of course. Can gain two stacks at once. You gain stacks with Q by last hitting minions or by touching champions with Q. Yeah, so for now I'm just farming. Then E second, because I'm playing against an aggressive champion. If you are only playing against wave clearing mage, for example, then it's worth taking W second to keep up with the wave. Else you go E. Okay, I got you. I took Dark Harvest because it's fun. When I get stacks anyway. Oh. Q Max. Usually it's worth placing your E like closer to yourself so that when your enemy goes at you he'll get stunned faster. And if you are playing your E in an aggressive way then it's worth just pressing E closer to your enemy. But here it was a good E because he knew that he's not able to engage at me. And he wants to every time. Come. He's stuck so... Okay, I wanted to auto in case wasn't in range. Let's back. Hey, let's go. <laughs> so that damage. I 
Let's take turret plating. Ooh, dark harvest stacks. Never mind, Lulu took that. Again, is so funny. I'm going full burst and full magic pen. So no glacial things, no hex tech, GLP. Okay. He wasted some time. The wave clear is getting better. Another threat plating. If he comes, I have everything, so probably. I'm able to take another kill. He tries. He has the... Hey. You are dead, I think. Yeah. Okay, Emax second to increase the stun duration. And as for your ultimate, it's really important to press it when your enemy is at low HP, so below 33% health, because the damage is kind of maximized. The damage is based on the target's missing health, so if I casted my ultimate earlier, I wouldn't be able to kill him. Oh, got him. Nice, good job. Ooh. I don't have my ulti. That was really good. I can flash soon, actually. Let's push first. Can you speed me up? You don't? Okay. You know, thing is... It's just that I knew that I can just press Q in another way and OT in case. So the key thing was to bait with Q and I had enough damage from ulti anyway so I just wanted to make sure and it would be great if I landed this Q of course and I survived Senna's ultimate let's go oh that looks bad oh haha <laughs> Luden Seko Let's go, bait them. They cannot see me, don't be scared. Yes. No range to catch him in my E. But let's pretend like I bucked. And I found you. Bye. Hey, that's really nice. Yeah, look at this W. <laughs> I 
This is my first recording on new PC. I hope you like it. And also tell me in the comments if you can see the difference in quality. Even just a bit. Oh, you have that item to take down wards faster. Ooh. Clean. Ah, oh, got you. No, no. Get baited. Good job. Ooh, great! The place. I would bug, but something is happening constantly. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Let's get that dead cup. Cute skin. I wanted to pass minions to make sure that these minions won't block the Q because your Q can only pass through one target and then I mean the second one if you want to land it on your enemy then it can only pass one minion or enemy <laughs> okay. Sorry, Flash. Oh, hello there.
based on his movement he wanted to re-engage with his E and OT. The damage. I'm lacking the bind on my control ward after change. Is that? Hey. <laughs> okay, magic pen. Yeah, that's why I went to the end. I accept your faith. Because in the last moment, before I didn't take the route, I wanted to press my E and I did. Yeah. Oh, she passed that. <laughs> what a stomp. but half HP. Hey, with style. Alright, thank you guys for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe and see you next time.